it, it's actually difficult for an ambulance to get in. If there should be a, um, a problem in that park, that those planters black, uh, block the access to first responders. You, you can't get a gurney through that. And they put these planters down the entire length of the street. Before coming here, I measured the width. It was 48 inches at the beginning. I'm told that uh, if you walk down there, it's 42 inches. This means wheelchairs cannot pass. The city is going to have to take those planters away. The question is, is there going to be legal fees that the taxpayer is going to have to pay before they do it? Now, those ficus trees are an invasive species, folks. We're talking about a park that has been around since the kingdom. And when they grow up, and they grow very quickly, their roots can crack the sidewalk. Right. So again, we're talking about taxpayers' money being spent. Now, look over there, one million dollar on raids. And then, compared to uh, you know, Mayor Cordwell's statement about housing the homeless, he's not putting in a million bucks to house the homeless. 100 people, 75 people, whatever it is. He's already spent more on the raids, and there's a judge who's gonna spend some, who's, who's gonna say something on Friday uh, about whether or not the city has to stop what it's doing. And then there are going to be attorneys that are going to have to be paid. And then there's going to be a trial. When are we going to come to our senses? Why not just pull those planters out and house the homeless? Yes. Provide services. So what I heard you say is there's an issue with the current strategy of landscaping. It's a nice way of putting it. And that there's also, I heard something about invasive species and indigenous species. I think that's totally interesting, valid conversation.